Hey, before we get into this video, could I ask you to do this? Just go ahead right now, right now, hit that like button, have faith. And, uh, but more than anything, hit that subscribe button right now. It doesn't cost a dime. I need you to subscribe. I'm so close to that thousand dollar, thousand dollar. I need you to subscribe right, subscribe right now. I'm so close to that 1000 subscriber threshold. 20 more, I think, 19, 20, 21, something like that. Hit that subscribe button, help a brother out. Did you see my new Harley Davidson chair? This is a Christmas gift from my beautiful wife. I actually mentioned it. She was asking me, what do you want for Christmas? I'm really, <coughs> that's Gus. I'm really hard to buy for <coughs> because I have expensive taste. Oh. I think he sees another dog. Oh. Hey, oh shit. Sit, lay down. No, lay down. I got him tied <clears throat> while I do the video. He wants to chase. Anyway, I'm hard to buy for. And I'm 62 years old and I'm not ready. You know, I remember, I remember when I was a kid, we'd buy Christmas gifts for my grandparents. My grandfather's, so we'd usually buy them something like handkerchiefs or something like that. Well, I'm not a handkerchief guy. I don't even carry a handkerchief and I'm not ready to be that old. So anyway, I have this expensive taste. You know, I want things like custom dynamic lights, you know, two, three, $500. Uh, and uh, so when she was picking my brain for Christmas gift ideas, I just said, well, you know, Harley Davidson has a really a nice bag chair. I saw one in the dealership. They have a nice bag chair and uh, it's pretty cool. I said, but it's expensive for a bag chair because in the store it was $85. And I thought for a bag chair that was pretty expensive. But anyway, she bought it for me. She ordered it online, got it for 80. And uh, I'm quite pleased with it. I did a short, a YouTube short about the chair. I don't like YouTube shorts. I'll tell you about that later. But anyway, I'm quite pleased with it. It's, it's really heavy duty construction. Uh, the, the, the material that the chair is covered in, I don't know what you call that. It's some kind of synthetic something, I'm sure, canvas. I don't know what you call it, but it's much heavier duty than the bag chairs that I buy at like Walmart. And uh, it's got the Harley Davidson logo on the back, on the bag, on the storage bag, and the, and the both sides of the chair. I think it's on, hang on Matt. Yep. Yes, yeah, on both sides of the chair. And you know, the Harley Davidson logo is worth a hundred dollars. Isn't that what HD stands for? hundred dollars? <laughs> but it has a, uh, has a compartment on the left, left armrest that has a Vel Velcro and zipper, and it's insulated like a place to put cold or hot food. And, uh, you know, we, we go to the base, we go to the little league baseball games, to watch our grandsons play. And, uh, and then the cup holder on the right armrest is also insulated. And the, the metal, the, the, the construction of the chair, to me, it seems like a better quality than what you'd get in a chair, just a regular bag chair at the department store. And so, I'm quite pleased with it. And honestly, I probably won't take it to a, a Little League baseball game. Uh, it's kind of big, it's a big chair, it's a big chair. And uh, I've already discovered that it's kind of hard to get it back into the bag and I don't have the patience for it, but who knows? But I know it's home is gonna be here in the hog pen and I'm gonna be using it to sit here on beautiful days and drink a cup of coffee or a bottle of water and look out 
to what you can't see, but I'm looking out through the garage door of my shop and I'm looking out into the field. There's a field out here uh, that is different. They plant different things every year, anything from cotton to corn to peanuts to soybeans. This year it was soybeans and soybeans are not as pretty, but anyway, they've already been cut and the field's bare right now. And it's a beautiful, uh, what, what season is it still fall? It's not officially winter yet, is it? Anyway, today is, today is Friday, January the 6th. I believe it's the right date. Anyway, uh, we, you know, we all had the cold blast during Christmas and today our high is going to be 65. I think yesterday the high was 76. So we had a little bit of a cool down, but anyway, that's the, that's the purpose of the chair is to, uh, just give me a place to kind of come out here and sit down, hang out. And uh, that's what I'm gonna do. Now, YouTube Shorts. I don't know, you know, when YouTube Shorts first came out, I saw another YouTuber, Moto Vlogger, complaining about YouTube Shorts and YouTube Shorts and how it was affecting their channel. And I thought they were just, you know, you know, just being a whiny baby. But here's what I've noticed about YouTube. YouTube is pushing us to watch Shorts. Why? Because because our, our attention spans are shorter and if we, but the, the shorts are short and the habit is to just keep scrolling and keep looking at it and, and you go, you go on. Hey, stop it, stop it. You go on YouTube to watch, like I, I open up YouTube to go watch say Traveling Tall. I wanna see what Traveling Tall's been up to and there's an interesting looking uh, thumbnail for a short there. And I click on it and before I know it, I've sat in there and watched 10 minutes of shorts. Not really 10 minutes, I hope I've never watched 10 minutes, but but anyway, you, you get the idea. And I tried to create a short just, just to be, you know, to be up to date uh, about this chair and it didn't turn out the way I wanted it to. So anyway, I'm, I'm not crazy about YouTube shorts. I came to YouTube as a viewer to learn and, and to listen to people talk that were sharing things that I had an interest in, or I use YouTube to find out how to do something, how to, how to repair the lawnmower, how, how, how to just how to do things. I call it YouTube university. And, and since I've gotten into motor vlogging, uh, -uh. since I've gotten into motor vlogging, you know, traveling tall and, and, uh, Cycle fanatics and holy shift. Th these are the guys. These are the guys that I watch and and road reality. John at road reality, who I think is probably uh, next to uh, Daniel Hayes, million dollar bogan. John might be the hardest working motor vlogger out there. He is so consistent with posting and editing, just high quality. Anyway, this is the kind of stuff that brings me to YouTube, and I don't want to watch a bunch of shorts, but I get caught in it. I get my brain, I get trapped into it with this little short. You don't learn anything watching YouTube shorts. You don't learn anything. I, I have it. I have it. Anyway, I just thought that I would, I would vent just a little bit and uh, blow the eight, as it were, about my, my feelings. But uh, today's a beautiful day. I'd love to ride Black Beauty today, but uh, I'm not going to be able to do that. I do have to go to Pensacola. If I were going by myself, uh, I might would take the bite. Honestly, I might would take the bite, but Felicia's going with me and she loves to ride, but she's not gonna wanna ride with a, today with a high of 65. I, now I know that's not cold. That's not cold. That's beautiful riding weather. And she would ride in cold weather if we were like on vacation. Hey. If we were like on vacation or something, uh, up in the mountains, it's cold weather, she'd layer up and she'd ride. But just to go to Pensacola to go visit somebody in a hospital and you know run a couple errands, she's not gonna wanna layer up and do all that. She's gonna wanna put her makeup on. She's gonna want her hair to look nice. And so anyway, <clears throat> anyway, we're not taking, we're not taking black beauty today. So, oh, I came on here to show you my chair. That's why I'm here. As uh, 
Sean Connell says, sometimes you just got to press record and talk. And for right now, especially the wintertime, this is probably what my channel is going to be. And, you know, if I get 30, 35, 40 views, I don't know, you know. Typically, when I do a, mo a motorcycle-related uh, uh, video, I, you know, if I get 100 views in the first 24 hours, I'm happy. That's very small, very minute. I'm just, I'm a small timer. But you can help me out. You can help me out by... Uh, Subscribing. Oh, Lee. Have you subscribed yet? If you haven't, please consider doing that. Do it right now. Just hit it. It doesn't cost a dime to subscribe. If you're afraid to hit the subscribe button, it doesn't cost a dime. If you hit the bell icon, you will get notifications. If you want notifications, hit the bell icon. But you don't have to hit the bell icon. The thumbs up helps uh, YouTubers' algorithms. So anytime you're watching a YouTube video and you like it, I don't care if they got 3 million likes, thumbs up, go ahead and hit it. It helps, it helps the algorithms. And so anyway, I guess that's about it for the day from the hog pen. From the hog pen, this is Preacher Moto Man saying to you, trust in the Lord, Jesus Christ. He'll never fail you. Bye.